Welcome back to Unnati Unleashed, the podcast where we delve into the stories of empowerment and growth brought to life by Unnati Skill Center. I am Sagarika Sharma, joined by my co-host Jivangi Sarkar. We are extremely excited to announce that we will be joined by esteemed dignitaries in our upcoming episodes. So, get ready for more interesting conversations and insights as we continue our journey with these remarkable guests by our side. First, I would like to welcome Ms. Girija Krishnan. Uh, I welcome you, ma'am, uh, for coming and joining us uh, today. And I would uh, request you to introduce yourself to our viewers. Thank you, Sagarika. I'm Girija Krishnan. I'm a volunteer at Unati. Been a volunteer since 2004. And uh, currently, as a volunteer, I take care of the pedagogy as well as the training quality across the centers pan India. Thank you so much, ma'am. And without any further ado, let us uh, quickly delve into the questions. So, ma'am, uh, uh, with due respect and information, I would like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Yeah. So, ma'am, um, can you please tell us uh, what goes into uh, the thought process while uh, designing the curriculum for the youth? Yes, sure, Sagarika. So, uh, as you know, you know the youth that we cater to, they come from very, they come from very diverse academic backgrounds. Yeah. So we have youth uh, who, uh, we have youth who attend the dropouts, mm -hmm. onwards to postgraduates too, mm -hmm. and uh, we have youth coming from urban centers mm -hmm. as well as rural, mm -hmm. and uh, most of these youth are first generation uh, English speakers oh. in that family. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. so we have to, uh, you know, uh, plan a curriculum as per uh, all these uh, kind of different parameters. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we started many years back, uh, we did, uh, you know, especially with uh, spoken English and life skills, we did get these, uh, you know, cu curriculum from uh, uh, for English. Uh, you know, we got it from Bribley's English mm -hmm. program. And then the life skills, we got it from the GE Foundation Employability oh, Program. Nice. So initially, we had help with mm -hmm. the, the content uh, for spoken English and uh, life skills. But over the years, you know, uh, we had had to kind of, you know, uh, modify it, upgrade it uh, as per the demands of, uh, you know, the youth yes. as well as the industry. Mm -hmm where they would be taking up jobs. Yeah. So uh, over the years, we have modified. We have also, uh, you know, uh, added uh, more vocation mm -hmm. training. Yeah. So all these content over the years, now wherever we have developed in-house, yeah. the contents and values, it will be computers, tally, yeah. as well as uh, sales and marketing strategies. Uh -huh. uh, we have uh, worked with volunteer experts the experts in the in those industries okay. so we have had a lot of volunteers you know who come from very diverse backgrounds and also prof uh, professionals mm -hmm. in those industries right so we have taken the help of these volunteers in developing this curriculum as we have gone forward okay. right uh, but uh, basically you know we have stuck to uh, content which, uh, you know, is very basic, yeah. right? Because uh, of the reason that our beneficiaries are from. Mm -hmm. So the content is very basic, yeah. uh, but we do, uh, you know, uh, as per the demands, small modifications mm -hmm. are done. Yeah. And, uh, but we do not forget the pedagogy. So whatever content that we are, uh, you know, uh, maybe upgrading or bringing in new content, has to fit in with our methodology that we follow. That's very important yeah. to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so also when we want to upgrade or we want to modify or bring in some new topic, which we have done, uh, we do uh, take inputs from our placement team. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So the placement team works with uh, you know the different uh, recruiters, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they get a lot of feedback from yeah. them. Yeah. So uh, we too take inputs from them and make those small changes that are required, uh, catering to the current trends. Yeah. You know, especially what probably uh, are required uh, for an interview yeah. uh, in the current uh, scenario. Mm -hmm. Right. So we look into all these aspects 
but we are very sure that the content what we uh, give to the youth or what is used for us training purposes has to be something which can connect to the youth is very simple sure. and basic yeah. and can be comprehended by these youth yes. yeah. so that uh, you know is the, the basic principle that we follow when we uh, keep working on the content or bringing in new content yeah, that's something really commendable because that is worth helping these um, people like they are from uh, like underprivileged background yes. so that has been helping them a lot. Yes, so, yeah. definitely. So ma'am, how long have you been associated with the Undati family? Yes, so I go a long way back and could call, call me a veteran volunteer here <laughs> of Undati yeah. uh, because I started in the year 2004 mm -hmm. uh, when I met uh, Mr. Ramesh Swami through a common friend mm -hmm. and then he just asked me why don't you just whenever you have time come and you know help out with mm -hmm. classes so yes uh, like uh, Mr. Swami has already mentioned in many of his uh, previous uh, uh, talks yeah. that we had when I started engaging with them when you know we were in the two bedroom house yeah. we started off yeah, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> so I would uh, come and take uh, you know uh, some sessions wherein you know we had to so we did uh, so of course we did have an organization which was training them in uh, spoken English but we had to uh, have you know additional sessions where he, we had to uh, engage them mm -hmm. actively yeah. in uh, improving their communication skills so that is when uh, you know I started uh, taking these sessions and uh, you know that also kind of you know got me uh, you know the first step preparing what content so yeah. that's where i had my first experience because uh, what do i engage them with mm -hmm. yeah. how do i engage them in the class right so yes though i think that's when you know my interest in uh, working with uh, you know content mm -hmm. and uh, pedagogy started that's so lovely ma'am and um, ma'am, I have a curiosity. Like, uh, what keeps you uh, committed your time and effort mm -hmm. here, like in this organization, uh, like without having any monetary benefit? Yes, yeah, it's a good question. Mm -hmm. So, uh, see, I joined out of my own interest mm -hmm. when yeah. I came, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, when I saw that, you know, uh, I had the space, mm -hmm. right? to actually be a little creative, uh, you know, I, with, uh, you know, the methodology, mm -hmm. uh, right? It caught me thinking that, you know, uh, this is what I was looking for, yeah. yes? Right. And uh, also, you know, the organization matters a lot, mm -hmm. right? The people behind the organization yeah. also matters yeah, a lot. Sure. Uh, you know, the people behind the organization here in Unati, have always motivated and always ensured that volunteers who come here get a special place. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. yes. So we have always encouraged volunteers yes. at Unati, and uh, uh, they uh, kind of uh, you know uh, help you in also defining how much how many hours you can give, mm -hmm. and uh, and the volunteers' interest is always put. First, First yeah. right, and uh, the authenticity of the organization, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So when I came here, I found that what they said was exactly what they were doing. Doing, yeah. So you know, because generally people have a perception of uh, NGOs, mm -hmm. yeah. and there's always that small little kind of uh, doubt. Okay, do they do what they what say? They say yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. I found out in this organization, they exactly do what they say. And the encouragement from right from the CEO to the other trustees mm -hmm. as well as the employees, uh, you know, it kind of motivates you to come here as a volunteer yeah. and keep engaging yourself for a very long period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have come across, uh, I mean, it's me, I've been here for many long years, yeah. but there have been so many others too mm -hmm. who yes, have engaged here, yeah. right? So if there are so many other people here doing, mm -hmm. For so many long years, there must be something right sure. happening in Indeed. this organization. Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah. And um, um, 
would you like to give any advice to um, anyone who is thinking of uh, joining any NGOs like this one? Definitely. So first of all, uh, you know, there's generally a myth that, you know, people mm -hmm. uh, for not working or who have entered the professional career are, the, are individuals who can come and volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So generally people mm -hmm. think, you think know, like only those people can come and volunteer. Well, it's not so yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, actually, here in Mundati, we welcome any age groups yeah. come and volunteer, yes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we have had even teenagers engaging with us. Yeah. Yes, sir. So what first is with, you know, how do you go about mm -hmm. selecting an organization, mm -hmm. right? So first of all, you have to think what, uh, you know, why do you have want to do it, yeah. right? What do you get out of it? Yeah. That's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it, uh, of course, uh, you know, see, it, naturally it's about giving back to society, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. But volunteering is also much more than that. Yeah. yeah? So for, when I came here out, I found that, you know, this is what, you know, the youth engagement was mm -hmm. what, you know, I was interested in. Yeah. And this is exactly what I uh, got, got here. here. Yeah. So it is aligned mm -hmm. to what mm -hmm. I wanted to do. Yeah. Next is the organization. Yeah. So where do I want to mm -hmm. uh, go and volunteer myself? Yeah. So look at the organization. Uh, what do they do? Yeah. What are the outcomes? Mm -hmm. What is the impact they are creating in the society? society. And who are the beneficiaries? Uh, so when you engage with you know uh, people in the organization, uh, then you get an idea about this. Yes, yeah. Next is how much time are you willing to volunteer? Yeah, That's yeah. also important, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it should not be like once a year. Yeah, no. there's nothing much you can <laughs> no. do no. when you uh, do that. Mm -hmm. So how many time? How much of time can you volunteer? Mm -hmm. So whatever is the time. Uh, we should commit to it, yeah. it mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's important. Mm -hmm. And also, if, you know, of course I bring in my skills, mm -hmm. sets, yes, yeah. right, when I come in. But if it is so required that, you know, I need to have some additional skills mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to uh, ensure that, you know, I really give the best, best to the yeah. organization, mm -hmm. I should be willing to, you know, whatever uh, training or whatever is required, I need to go through it, I need yeah. to grow yeah. through it. Yes, yeah. Like in Unnati, if somebody is interested in training mm -hmm. yeah. youth, mm -hmm. they have to undergo even volunteers yeah. or training program. Mm -hmm. It is essential yeah. uh, because to get the required outcomes. outcomes. Mm -hmm. so, so for any other organization, yeah. right? So that is, uh, you know, the willingness mm -hmm. to, you know, and you know learn something new if it is yeah. required mm -hmm. that should be that the attitude yeah and uh, of course uh, you know uh, engaging mm -hmm. yourself on a continuous basis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right so what benefits you know if you were to volunteer mm -hmm. is you know from my personal yes, space yeah. let me tell yeah. you is that I think my personality has undergone a drastic change yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, over the years mm -hmm. because of my engagement mm -hmm. here, yeah. right? And uh, so, especially you know, empathy, mm -hmm. yeah, right, uh, and being grounded. Grounded. Sure. So I remember that when I took the first class mm -hmm. here uh, for Unnati, yeah, the two in the two bedroom house. Yeah. Uh, when I uh, you know took the class. Mm -hmm. I realized that, you know, I had to really connect with these youth yeah. in the sense that, you know, sometimes we come from a very privileged mm -hmm. background, yeah. right? Yeah. And we don't have an idea. We have a very, I think, you know, I would say uh, uh, very right. powdered, yeah. vague idea yeah. as to what happens on mm -hmm. the other side. Yes, and uh, that was the shock. Uh, when I did the class, and then I realized that I need to stay grounded. Yeah, yeah? and it taught me yes, how to stay grounded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. The volunteering yes, here, yes, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. and of course, you uh, you know the quality of empathy. Mm -hmm. 
it's so important yes. yeah when you work uh, in a uh, ngo ngo yeah. yeah and uh, of course uh, you know uh, ensuring that you commit committed to what you're doing yes ma'am yeah so i have you know though i was committed but this engagement with uh, unnati has brought a great sense of commitment in me whatever i take up so much so that my uh, family says oh my god ma you are always uh, my children say you always talking about unnati <laughs> or engaging with somebody unnati <laughs> but uh, yes you know i uh, thoroughly enjoyed my time here with unnati yeah. and uh, yeah i continue mm-hmm. i hope i continue to do so yeah, and i think i will be. yeah <laughs> that was such a lovely advice i hope our viewers will obviously follow them um, like thank you for sharing your generous amount of time and your expertise and it added a literally depth to our episode thank you so much ma'am thank you so much sadarika 